Welcome to Clan TV. Brayhead Clan losing 5 2 to Belfast Giants tonight. With me is the defenseman, Chris Frank. Chris, a disappointing night tonight. Can you sum it up for us? Yeah, we just weren't uh, really sticking to the game plan. It seemed kind of scrambly at times. I think the guys were pretty tired at times as well. Uh, no excuses, but yeah, it's uh, something that we got to work on getting everybody on the same page. The coach said uh, a short time ago that when you're up against a team of the quality of Belfast and you've got key guys missing like, like Brayhead have, it's always going to be difficult. Did you find that out on the ice tonight? Yeah, it's, it's, it was definitely difficult. But I mean, when you play a top team like Brayhead, uh, it's going to be a difficult game no matter what. You still have to show up. And uh, with the game the way it is, uh, there's going to be a lot of times throughout the course of a season where every team has to battle with injuries and they just have to persevere. And uh, it's just something that we can't really crutch on by any means. When you become more... Uh, reliable on the defence and, and the netminder, does that make your job a lot more difficult in terms of concentration and obviously being out there and, and getting at the puck as well? Uh, at times I suppose but really it's, it's like I said before as long as everyone kind of sticks to the game plan you should be able to uh, simplify things and you shouldn't have to work as hard but we made things difficult on ourselves at times tonight. The fact that it was a Challenge Cup game uh, hasn't gone unnoticed, is it is it more of a consolation, the fact that it was only a Challenge Cup game, if I can put it that way, that it wasn't league points that were up for grabs? Uh, not for us. I mean, the, the Challenge Cup games being here and there throughout the course of the season, it's all about how you're playing and the form and the momentum you take into the next game especially. So uh, by no means are, are we just saying it was a Challenge Cup game, so it's nothing and it wasn't a regular season. Uh, we want to play well every single night, and we want that to continue on to the, the regular season games. It was your first time in front of the, the Brayhead clan fans tonight as a Brayhead player. You've obviously been here in the past. It was, was it nice to have the, the supporters on, on your side for a change rather than against you? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the Purple Army and everybody else was, was amazing. The support we had tonight was great. Um, you know, when, when we don't play our best games, they were still behind us uh, thick and thin there. So it was good to have their support and it really helps along the way. You were involved in the incident involving Jeffrey Suez, which led to him being ejected from the game. From your point of view, can you tell us what happened? Uh, he was just doing his job. He was just sticking up for his teammates like anybody else in his role. Um, it was unfortunate that he came off the bench, but uh, you know he was just playing his role, which I respect. Big game against Dundee tomorrow. Does, is it more important on the back of uh, tonight's result, do you think? Well, definitely we want to... I, I don't know if it's more important, but definitely we want to come back and respond after tonight and, and respond after losing to Dundee there last weekend. Uh, it's a huge game for us. We really want to win, especially with the regular season points. Uh, it's definitely an easy game to get up for tomorrow. Now, in the last couple of weeks, we've seen Daniel Nicola arrive as well as Neil Trim. What have you made of uh, their impact on the team so soon? Oh, they fit in really well in the locker room. Great guys. Uh, Skill-wise, they're both really dependable uh, seasoned players. and it was, it was noticeably different having them on the ice for us in, in a positive way, so it's great having them on board. Excellent. Thanks very much, Chris. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.